Post Malone coming down to the crowd at Lollapalooza. to our fallen girls at Polo G. I This is like 15 minutes before I go on Lollapalooza. All right, I'm not supposed to see the crowd. Wait, 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 oh. Here's my drummer, Lamar. What's up? Here's Edison. Playboy. Let's talk about what happened with Cardi and Miley Cyrus fans at Lollapalooza. So yesterday, Cardi had an amazing performance at Lollapalooza, but there was one thing that happened. Miley Cyrus was supposed to perform right after him. That means that a bunch of Miley Cyrus fans were in the crowd with Cardi fans. And as we know, Cardi fans can be a little bit crazy. So here's a screenshot of what happened over there. I even found this picture online. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I feel bad for the Miley Cyrus fans. Like, imagine you're going over there to see Miley Cyrus, and then all of a sudden you just hear new tanks start playing. I don't think they were ready for that mosh pit. It was a crazy performance and I could tell a lot of those Miley Cyrus fans were not ready. I think artists like myself had to learn the hard way spending a year without all of you. Is this, this gig, these playing these shows for this many thousands of people, it can really jerk off your ego, <laughs> turn you into a fucking narcissist. But what we had to learn was concerts have nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with the fucking artist. Because unless we're playing music, for all of you that are out here in the crowd tonight, we have fucking nothing. I am who I am today in my customized bedazzled Gucci jumpsuit that was Because of you, none of these opportunities would ever have been possible without you all being loyal as fuck to me and fucking going with whatever the fuck I decide to do. Even when even I, when someone's like, what the fuck is she doing? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I'm just doing it. And you guys going along with me means the fucking world. And it is my honor to be back at the first fucking festival of this size.
artists in the bands, you will be dance, just going crazy, just perfume, head in the bed, this is all. Olivia O'Brien Chance the Rapper Dylan Minette else feels the need to call their doctor and get a COVID test immediately because we were just exposed? Honestly, what the fuck? That doesn't even look like fun. I, wit I think I just witnessed 13 people getting COVID on TikTok. What is going on? First, I thought it was Florida. I'm like, fucking Florida. God damn it, Florida. Son of a bitch. You always gotta fuck shit up. God damn it. You fuck up the curve. Read the comments. It was Chicago. It was Chicago. Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza, I thought was a lesbian fucking festival that Melissa Etheridge started in the mid 90s. I didn't even know that shit was still going on. I mean, at this point, start praying for Chicago ICU beds now because that shit's going to be overrun. Mark my words in two weeks. COVID aside, the two fucking dudes behind these girls look like predators. I'm sorry. They were fucking creepy. Those girls are going to end up on TLC's I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant and I'm going to be like, TikTok did. After Playboy Cardi's Lollapalooza set ruining the concert for a lot of Miley Cyrus fans, we're going to have to talk about some other concert failures. 2019 New York Rolling Loud, Travis Scott was performing Butterfly Effect, went too hard and blew out his knee. Rest of the performance he had to do sitting down. September 24th, 2017, Post Malone was performing his huge hit Rockstar, took a stage dive, nobody caught him. He even joked about it on Twitter after, wishing he was Lil Uzi size. And you cannot forget about Halloween 2020, Rod Wave and his crew stepped on stage, broke the stage. I'm out this bitch, Tyler Bowler. Okay, for you people going to Lollapalooza, they give you this dumb little wristband, right, that you can only, you can only slide this piece down. So what you need is like a straw, right? Cut that straw into like a little piece, and then take that little piece and slide it over your uh, mesh portion, right? The cloth portion, rather. Slide it over, make it into like a nice funnel. Slide it up to the blue piece, nice and tight, and then you slide the blue piece over like this. Until it shows on the other end. That way, when you slide this down to fit your wrist, you can also slide it back to take it off so if you need to take a shower. Because I know some of you out there not be wearing deodorant and shit. But yeah, there's your pro tip.
POV your 76 at a trippy red concert. The regular girl getting recognized at Lola. This is the coolest drink at Lollapalooza. They print your photo onto frogs. They have blue pineapple and watermelon flavor. It's at the Cupcake Wine Pop-Up. Follow for more. As of today, the baby has gotten the boot from the Lollapalooza lineup. Let's talk about it. The festival released this statement earlier today saying that Lollapalooza was founded on diversity, inclusivity, respect, and love. With that in mind, the baby will no longer be performing at Grant Park tonight. Young Thug's performance will now take place at 9 on the Bud Light Seltzer stage. She Herbert will perform at 4, yada, yada, yada. The baby ain't gonna be there. And what's so interesting about this is a lot of artists are trying to recoup the money that they lost during 2020, being that you could not perform at festivals. So festivals are a big deal this year. And it's giving this is another bag the baby fumbled being problematic so what do y'all think about this interact with this more from cultural filters find moose i'll see you next time peace Let's run away, hop on a train, go anywhere you like It's crazy, that's why, but I don't care who I am, as long as I love you Let's get a plane, to Tokyo or LA Depending on my time, with your hand in mine It's always paradise when it's just us two
Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, I see him. Keep going. Keep going. We like a solid wall drop.